Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California at the Prime Time Shopping Network Headquarters Studio. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday night. Wilson, I got something on my phone that I got to show. I couldn't believe it. I could. I don't my copy machine. It, it works, but then it breaks, and then I fix it, and it works once and breaks. So I, it didn't work, so I took a picture of it. You know what paleontologists now say, Wilson? All right, Ashley, can you hand me my phone that's charging? I'm going to, uh, yo, you won't believe this, Wilson. And I suspected it all along. I suspected it. Wilson, wait till you see this. Do, 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 do. Were you a fan of the Flintstones? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. All right. Can you read that on my phone? Paleontologists believe now that dinosaurs coexisted with people. Yes. They always said that was impossible. Dinosaurs coexisted with human ancestors, paleontologists said. There's a better picture of it. Yes. Wilson, this is huge news. That means Barney, Rubble, Fred, Flintstone, Wilma, Betty, Mr. Slate, and every... Oh, look at this picture. They even, paleontologist, even drew a picture. There's early humans, Fred Flintstone type, and a big bird monster flying over him. What do you call that big bird monster? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? That pterodactyl's not trying to eat them. Well, I'm not in that shot. I don't know if I believe it, but they seem to think so. All right, I want to start with something to, I'll tell you what. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. What would you start with, Ashley? What? Using, Ashley, using all, not part of it, not some of it, but using all the command. All the knowledge at your command, what would you start with? You want to show the Ray Braun picture? Not actually, not yet. Put up the Graham Stevenson. <laughs> this is the last work I own by the late Graham Stevenson. Which one? Talking into that? No, this one. No, no, you're switching cameras on me. <laughs> this is 608. 608. Graham Stevenson started his show. That one. Graham Stevenson started his show. Put some color in your life. Unfortunately, he died on June 5th, 2022, of a rare neurological disease. He was a legend. Uh, two years before he died, he won the highest honor they can give an Australian artist. It's called the Order, uh, the Medal of the Order of Australia. It is rarely given out. He was the recipient. Now, I know Graham. I knew Graham. He was quite a character. He used to pull up places on his motorcycle. Here is a comp on one of his drawings right there. This is an auction estimate. And this is several years ago. Estimate 2250. Uh, high estimate 2250 US. Low estimate 900 to 1050. And that's for this drawing right here. This is a rare, weird drawing. What is the title? Hand signed by Graham Stevenson. 
What is the title of this, Ashley? It's the... It's the BC 608. Inside the eagle. Is that an eagle? That's an eagle skull. Have you seen them before? Yes. You've seen dead eagle skulls. Yes, sir. When I was shooting. You shot an eagle? <laughs> no. Why would you shoot a bald eagle? I didn't shoot an eagle. I just saw a skull of an eagle before. Likely story, Wilson. She just happened to see the skull of an eagle. Do you go shooting often? When I was younger, yes. When you were younger? What kind of gun did you shoot? Lots of different ones. What was your favorite gun? My favorite was this old rifle from the, uh, what was the war? Was it the war? Like the Korean War? Yeah. It was really big and heavy. And it was a poop. Uh, well, you got World War I, World War II, Civil War, oh, yeah. Revolutionary War, Spanish-American yeah. War. Civil War. Well, folks, this is literally a 25. Since he died, this is 2,500 or more. Uh, but to get the show going, uh, this is the only Graham Stevenson I have. That is a drawing. Uh, Graham Stevenson died over a year ago. And uh, what's day is today? June what? He died June 5th, so... A uh, year and a couple of weeks ago. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Actually, I want everybody to participate. Graham Stevenson, a, a treasurer of Australia. Uh, watch this, Ashley. It's so cheap. If I don't sell it, I'm happy. Because I'm learning something, Wilson. <coughs> Just like your nighttime gig. You pull the socks up high, polish the high heels. Nobody stops in five, ten minutes. You go, hey, I need to change my outfit. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is so cheap, Ashley. If I don't get it open, I'm happy. $150 to open. I paid like five times that. But it's the last Graham Stevenson. If you have an eagle or ever want to know what the inside of an eagle looks like before Ashley shoots it, this is what it might look like. That's too cheap. That is a Graham Stevenson original drawing. He signed it, beautiful Graham Stevenson signature. He sold one of his works I believe for $15 million. That was a large painting. It wasn't a drawing. But no interest so far. All right, Ashley. Patty, using all the knowledge at your command, you can see my whole desk here. What would you go to next? What? The water. The water. Oh, good idea, folks. Michael John Schofield is a friend of mine. He is 76 years old, I believe. He is one of the youngest artists to ever get. He is in the Smithsonian permanent collection. He is in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He is in Hubs Historical. He is uh, not only in the Smithsonian, he, uh, official PGA golf artist. I'm going to show you, uh, let me see if I got my, yeah, here, I got it right here. You wouldn't go with this one next. Yeah, and then after, yeah, I would. 
You go with this, then the Schofield. All right. Ashley, I want you to hold this up, but you got to stand with the same ferocity as a Native American warrior there. This one. I'm going to stand. Oh, sorry, Juanita. <laughs> this is obsolete banknotes. This is from the Western. Let me get on the other side of it. Western Exchange Bank, a one, a two, a three, and a five. And here is someone selling one on eBay right here. Look at that. What do they want for that? They want $800. $800. Same as mine. Their uncut sheet was graded by uh, PNG or something. But uh, look at mine. Mine is mint, perfect, uncut sheet. They want 800 for their same bank, same sheet. Mine has not been cut. Now, you've got to have the ferocity. You see this guy, Wilson? That guy right there? Do you have a spear? I do have a spear. Do you have it with you? Yes. No, oh, boy. Now, for that, this is what that guy thought about that. He looks unhappy, doesn't he, Wilson? He's going like, uh, how long is this going to take? And... This is how banks used to make their own money prior to the Federal Reserve and different banking laws in the 1900s. Here's what I'm going to do. They want 800. Do we have an item number on this? All right, I'll, I can hold it. Perfect, thank you. And... Uh, Twenty-eight. What? Twenty-three thirty. Yeah. Twenty-three thirty. Twenty-three thirty. What is? We believe it's BC twenty. What? Yeah, we got it. Now, Ashley, yeah. if I say, if, if it gets out of hand here tonight, and I yell, blue shoe, blue shoe, yeah. throw your spear at Wilson. You got both. <laughs> so this is the same one they want 800 for. Mine is right here. Start at zero. I mean, this is... This is mint. I've had this. Uh, $250 to open, $50 increments. That is an uncut sheet of Western Exchange Bank. And I'm holding a copy of one that was $800. Western Exchange, five, marine insurance, uncut, uncut, obsolete, sheet. Look at that. Say what? What's the question? Yeah, well, that's great. Well, you know what those viewers would like to see, Ashley? What? Blue turtle, blue turtle. Yeah, <laughs> good form. That would cause my viewership to go up. No, oh, yeah, first was blue shoe. Now it's blue turtle. 
And look at that guy with the folks. No open on an uncut banknote sheet. All right. Tell you what I'm going to do. Hmm. Folks, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this and that. Now, Matthew, I want to show a nine-minute film. All right. You know which one I'm talking about, Matt? can't play that. You'll get in trouble, Wilson. I'm talking about the art film. I'm joking. Ah, oh, Juanita. Your dog likes me. All right. Tell me when you're ready, Matt. This is on Michael Schofield. Three. Two. One. I'm Michael Schofield. I'm a, uh, an impressionist landscape artist. Landscapes are probably what I enjoy doing the most. And I think one of the reasons I enjoy doing what I do because I enjoy being in nature. Landscapes to me speaks to, uh, speaks to who and what I am. I enjoy the outside. I love looking at different parts of the country. Every different part of the country is, is unique in its area. Landscapes are, are what I enjoy painting more than anything else. When I'm looking at the landscape, the first thing I do is to see the depth of the piece and how I'm going to create the depth. How am I going to create the foreground and the middle ground and the, and the background? And what it is that I'm going to have to do in order to jump over the hurdles it's going to take in order to get that particular scene on, on canvas. Do I frame it right to left? Do I move these trees here? Do I, do I bring a brook through the center of the piece? Do I bring it from left to right? You know, what's intriguing about this particular scene? taking out all of the small details that don't make any sense and just getting the essence of the piece, that's what I do. That's what I envision when I first see the, the landscape. I think an artist's job is to interpret what the creator has laid out for us. We're just basically taking snapshots of that, interpret, putting in our own interpretation of it, our own feelings, our own emotion, and then presenting that to the viewers or to the public. That's art to me. So it really is just a, it's a statement of, of what we are and who we are, and it's translated through, in my case, landscapes. The idea of becoming an artist um, didn't really hit until high school. And it was one of those rainy days when the music instructor was filling in for the English teacher that couldn't make it to, to school. So he, um, he whipped out his watercolor um, palette and, and paints and a piece of watercolor paper and did a demonstration um, right in the class. And that was his way of filling in for, for the teacher. And well, I watched him do that. And I, I still remember what he painted. He painted an old railroad ties and some water in between the ties and a couple of trees above it and reflecting in the waters. And I thought, wow, that's, I really, that's what I want to do.
your life changes quickly, you know, and your and the direction changes quickly. Um, and, and then I think a lot of it is just following the path. Uh, we don't choose our career; it chooses us. I think that's very true. Uh, I think as long as you keep moving, that that career will catch up to you, or you you'll find the right the right spot to walk into, or the right the right uh, position to be in at the right time. You know, the doors open. You walk through them. See what see what's on the other side. I did a couple of one-man shows down in Florida. I think probably one of the more interesting one was what I did in Cleveland, a real, real wet, cold, snowy night. I really didn't think that I would have anybody show up for the show because it was so cold and miserable. We ended up having 1,100 people show up for the for the uh, for the event. We sold almost everything in the in the uh, the entire show, and the party didn't stop until about one, two o'clock in the morning. And uh, those were fun. We had a lot of people show up in those in those particular in those days. All throughout Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, I did that for probably 10 years. There was a lot of shows. The most posters I think I had in one particular catalog was um, about 25. Back in the 90s, I think there was there was a few catalog companies that had uh, 10 or 15, but I think um, Editions Limited had uh, up to about 25 pieces. Interestingly enough, some of the pieces are still in catalogs dating back into the into the early 90s. There, and then you start to realize that you know all the millions of posters you're you're selling happen to find their way in front of the public and. I think that's when you start to realize that uh, you're actually fairly famous in this, in this game. Well, I spent 10 years in, in Nashville, in that area. And I think a lot of the subject matter that I, that I paint today comes out of that era and out of that area. Um, Tennessee and Kentucky and Alabama, Mississippi, and even upstate New York. I love that area up there. You know, big pines, the big beech trees, the big birches. I think a lot of that uh, that I do today is reminiscent of those areas and of that subject matter. I paint in California quite a bit too, um, like like today. Um, those, those areas I think are what I enjoy painting the most. One of the more difficult things is painting on location. A lot of people say, well, you got everything right in front of you. Well, you have too much in front of you. The artist has to take all of the elements, eliminate the things you don't need in the painting, and just paint the things that you do need. And you have to deal with the light changing. It changes rapidly. You're painting the shadows on one tree, and all of a sudden, they're not there anymore. So you have to take a mental snapshot of the area that you're looking at, and then paint that, because it's going to change five minutes from now. I think my paintings, they tell hope, and they tell adventure, and mystery, and romance, and I've been fortunate, really fortunate, to paint something that people really enjoy and, and feel and get uh, inspired from and fall in love with. And I like the growing aspect of becoming a better and better artist. Uh, I don't think you ever arrive as an artist. I think you're always arriving. You're eventually going to get there. I think eventually um, 
I'll, I'll get to a point where I feel comfortable with the work. I don't think I'll ever be satisfied completely with it. I like the idea that somebody can see one of my paintings and see a part of nature that they've been in, a place that they, they're familiar with, a scene that they know from, from childhood or some, some time in a vacation, something like that. That's when I feel like what I do actually rings home. That's important to me. They can actually relate to the landscape. So um, communication between the painter and the, the viewer is what's important. Hi folks. Yeah, I made that film on Michael Schofield a while ago. He's 76 now, I believe. He's a great guy. Talked to him not too long ago. And uh, folks, what I'm going to do on these, I have just a handful of watercolors. And Wilson, I'm just going to move over the one on the easel. And Ashley will give them the number. 2622. Here's a pastel watercolor on eBay for $18,999. This is signed Schofield. That is Bob's Auto. If there's anybody out there watching that actually owns Bob's Auto, the odds of you getting another original watercolor done by Michael Schofield with a picture of Bob's auto on it, they're rare. <laughs> I would say you could probably watch every shopping channel for the next 40 years and not see a Bob's auto. I'll tell you what, this retail, I would say watercolor Schofield, nine grand, 10 grand, uh, whatever you want to put up there, but here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, even signed it on the back, 2003. And there is a car in Bob's Auto in the garage. Folks, you have fun with this. Start at zero, $50 increments. I only have a, of the larger size like this, a shopkeeper's handful. Four. <laughs> Shop teacher. <laughs> That is beautiful. I can't buy that for $50. I can't buy that for 100 I can't buy that for 200 or 300 But you can tonight. That is an original Michael Schofield. And what are the dimensions on that? That's a good question. Eighteen by eleven and a half. That's an original Michael Schofield, signed Schofield, both on the front and the back. I mean, these are nine, ten thousand. I mean, he is very famous. And right now, on the internet only, all I need is a fifty-dollar open, and it could be yours. Oh, that's the most colorful one I got, too. Bob's Auto. That could even be near Mayberry RFD. You pull up there and Goober's going to come out. Didn't the guy that played Goober actually become a congressman? Larry something, or I don't know. All right, no takers once. No takers twice. That would have been a, what? You got 50. 
You just wanted to see me get up. She wanted to do that. She's been waiting there to say you got an open. We have 50. Thank you. Folks, I can't buy a Michael Schofield original water. That is colorful. You got the lime greens, the ruby reds. Look at that. All the different teal colors. That is really colorful. They're 18 grand online. I am at 50 bucks going once. Let me just pace for a second. As I think about this, Patty, whose idea was this? I'll blame it on the big guy. All right. This is crazy. This is crazy, people. That's a Schofield original. We got a hundred. This is not a little baby watercolor. This is a big watercolor. One hundred. Looking for one fifty. One hundred dollars going once. What does your bidder say, Ashley? The one hundred dollars going twice, folks. I'm gonna come over here and stand here. This is an original Michael Schofield, a PGA golf artist. Uh, worked for uh, Canal Publications and made all those movies. He, they, they painted paintings for TV, painted paintings for... 150 thank you. What? 150 down to one bidder at 150 Juanita, thank you, Juanita. Juanita willed that for us. 150 going once. And that's Bob's garage. Who who's your bidder? Uh, Mr. S. Mr. S. Mr. S. Does he know anybody that owns a Bob's garage? I thought that he actually knew anybody that was a golf Yeah, do you know this guy that owns Bob's garage? All right, once, twice. Oh. Fair and final warning sold. Now, Schofield 2003, you want it, that's amazing. Look at this. This painting right here is a lot like Ashley, but Ashley's got a boyfriend now. Yeah, you know what this painting is called? Waiting for mail. <laughs> Joking. Look at that. I know, my jokes miss all the time. And we haven't talked about what, what is wrong with Ginger, my dog, yet. 2622. Same size as the last one. This is original Michael Schofield. 11 and a half by 18. Okay. Zero to open a $50 increments. That's a cool painting. He put the blue the sea blue, thalo blue in the right place. They got some emerald greens in there. Signed down the front and back down in 2003. I am looking for $50 to get this auction going. I only have a few of these and then I'm going to 
Move on. I got a great show. Got some rare Azulays coming up. Got some gold $20 St. Gaudens. Got a Zax. No open once. That's a really cool one. That's a Mike. You know, I get his pastels and watercolors are for a larger size are 18,000. For something like this, it's eight to 9,000. And he signed it on the front and back. No open once. No open twice. 75. At least you waited. She didn't make me get up. I was getting ready. We have $75. A strategic bid, Ashley. Making the next bid would have to be 125 Who is your customer? What? It, we already have 75 So the next bid would have to be 125 Very, very strategic Bitter. Who is your bitter, Ashley? Mr. S. Mr. S. You did that like you see in the brand, you know? Have you ever branded anything with a hot brand? No. Let me guess. The Eagle. No. All right. Who did you brand or what did you brand? Oh, but as far as an animal, no, good, just the eagle. You watch somebody brand it, and you didn't help that poor little animal. Oh, I seventy-five going once, seventy-five going twice. Fair final warning. That is sold, Ashley. I'm running out of Schofields. Here you go, Ashley. Here's the next one. 2003. This is all I got, folks. And then I'm going to move on to some Ashley. I might even. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to make this a twofer. I'm going to put two of them here. All signed Schofield 2003 on the back, signed on the front. These are both 18 by 11 and a half. Both of these, Ashley. I'm doubling the trouble, doubling the fun, doubling the pleasure with double mint gum. Nice. All right. Start at zero for two of them, $50 increments. Start at zero. And then I'm going to move on. I had a, a watercolor comp here. Schofield. Yeah, there's Hub's historical 48500 on an oil painting. All right, anybody want to open on two? Original watercolors from 2003, and then I am moving on. Different artist. Oh, that's crazy. I should stop this insanity. Who says that? Stop the insanity. So Ashley, when you shot that, yeah. when you shot that bald eagle in the head, yeah. oh, she no, she didn't. For both of them.
you're getting two. All right, they're going to bid 500. Thank you. 500 has been bid for these two. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Do they? Ashley, let's hold on till we can confirm. Five hundred. Five hundred going once. That's a steal. Five hundred going twice. Thank you. Who's your bidder? Mr. H. All in. All said. Sold. I only have one more of this size, and then I'm moving on to some other work. This is a last Schofield watercolor. This size done in 2003. 11 and a half by 13. No. What was it by 13? What is it? 18. 11 and a half by 18. Yeah. And what would the item number be on this? 2622. Two, two. Started zero, $50 increments. This is the last Schofield watercolor. And you guys have cleaned up. I am going, because I'm on, I am in the hour where I don't have Dish or DirecTV. Just have the internet. And I love you guys, and I love to give great deals. This is a last Schofield watercolor. Last one. It was done in 2003. It is signed on the front and the back. I got Herbert Hoover here. Well, he's dead, but I got his signature. He got, uh, he did not get good publicity. You know, they, uh, they, they kind of, it's a long story. This is the last one. You got an open, Ashley? What's that? Any open on this? Okay, because I know what I'm going to next. Oh, I got, hey, you want to see? This is coming up in about 30 minutes. You want to see a big silver coin, Wilson? That's a kilo of 9999 silver. That's going to be coming up. Oh. I have one of the sexiest 1927 MS65. This should be MS65 plus star, MS66. This is one of the greatest undergraded coins I've ever come across. That's going to be coming up in a little bit. We have the open on this. 50 bucks has been bid. You know what they say, Ashley. You can always lead a horse to water, but you can't make him gather it up, distill it, and boil it to heating tankers to make sure there's no chemicals in there. Well, that's what I'm just saying. The horses are smart. We got 50. You might gonna make it 100. Peace, love to you. Oh, you tell me I got two bidders. Ashley, anybody going to make it 100?
We got a hundred. Thank you. Hundred dollars. Hey, what's that guy in the orange shirt's name? Jay. I know it's Jay, but I don't think it's really Jay. Yeah, he's scaring me. He now he's pointing his fist at me and making. Hi, Jay. All right, we're at a hundred. Hundred dollars going once. And I appreciate everybody watching me on Wednesday night. Hundred dollars going twice. What happened to Kiki? She never works my show. One fifty has been bid. One fifty has. She took over Wilson's job. Yes, I want to bring that up next. I'm going to bring that up next. One fifty going once, going twice. Fair. Final warning, sold, and thank you. Who got that? Judy. Who got that? Judy. 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 Yeah. Folks, this is what I get in arguments with Michael Schofield over all the time. Now, because you are in, what kind of con contest is it? Tough Mudder. This is signed on the back. It's actually signed in a way that it's well, signed that way and this way. Two six one three. I am. Do, do I need to turn this off? Okay, I'll turn this off at Ashley's request. They say. I had to turn the mic off for that. Did you see that, Wilson? Ashley was going to pay me $100 to, I can't bring it up. All right, no, Ashley's. Here, look at this. This is what I argue with Michael Schofield. Michael Schofield believes he's 76. When he dies, his abstracts, which he's very good at, are going to be worth more than his landscapes, which he is... <coughs> probably one of the best known living lab, landscape artists of all time. And I, I, I don't see, he will quote so, John Singer Sargent who started painting landscapes and got into abstract. He'll, he'll start quoting artists off. He believes, and I'm not disagreeing with him, this is a very unique one. But this is a very large abstract. This is BC 2613. Tell you what, Michael gets, uh, well, he sold three of them for 180,000. So he gets big money. He gets forty, fifty thousand. But he he's been doing it all of his life. Tell you what, I'm going to put a fair value on this. I would put a retail value on it of twelve grand. But guys, it's up to you. This is a larger piece. Shipping might be a little bit more. Uh, retail twelve thousand. Started zero. Two hundred dollar increments. This is an abstract Michael Schofield. It's got some pretty colors in it, too. Look at that. Did you sell this? Oh, 
Oh. I was going to play hockey with it. No. That's a, I'm going to move this over to Ashley. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. No open on the abstract. Okay. Well, I am going to move along. Okay. Ah. Now. What's he want to see? Okay. Sure, you got it's over with you now. Oh, the nugget, nugget. What do you pay for that? Because that's a rare one. It's all right. Well, this was the prototype. That's zero, 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 zero. Let me just show it real fast. This was the John Askew Nugget. Now it is a Sparks Nugget. It's a proof coin, 999 fine silver with 24 karat gold overlay. And this is before they changed the name. That's a John Askew Nugget. And Look at that gold leaf. This was going to be prizes for their poker tournaments. The nugget went out of business. It was changed. It's now just the Sparks nugget. They dropped the John Askew. It's in Reno. But look at this. Look at that. That is stunning. So it is a pound... Well, I think it's 12 ounces of silver. One pound. Would it be 16 or 12? One Troy, pound. One Troy pound would probably be 12 ounces. I don't know. Look it up. I'm going to think about that for one second. Uh, should we just auction it? Or did he wants a price? All right, give me a second and I'll come up with something. Uh, that's a cool coin. That's the specimen, zero, 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 zero. Uh, that's the score I got on the dating game. <laughs> um, I go a little bit. Done. This is Herbert Hoover, and that'd be a hell of a deal. Excuse my language. Hand him the specimen box. All right. Take a look at this. This poor guy, not poor. He, whenever you go to Las Vegas and get water, get anything to drink, uh, it's because of the Hoover Dam. He was an engineer. He was president. He became president in 1926, I believe, or 1928, I know. 1929. What? 1929. 1929, he became, uh, be, no, I think he became president in, are you sure, 29? Yeah, the 31st president of the United States from 1929 to 1933. Yeah, he was sworn in. He won the election of 1928, but they don't take office until January of 1929. He, uh, he was a classical president. He, did, he, didn't, he, he thought the market would correct itself after Black Tuesday, October of, uh, October, I think 29, 19, October 19, October 12, 1929, whatever. And uh, there is Herbert Hoover's signature. He lived longer than, at the time, any presidents. He, he was available. He came to John F. Kennedy's inauguration when he, Kennedy won in 1960. 
Here is uh, one letter that they're bringing 1600 for. Uh, that was just a letter signed. This is Hoover's signature on uh, White House uh, stationery, something they cut out, put on this. You get the whole deal. Um, oh, and Ashley, look at the all the certificates of authenticity right here. Look at that. You got uh, authentication stamp. You have the item number, two uh, authenticators, and they wanted $1,995 on a, a shop. I knew the lady, she closed it down. But you're getting all kinds of stamps and bells and everything else. Let's start Herbert Hoover off at, I don't know, what are you thinking, Patty? You're killing me tonight. She's killing me. But she's been right. All right, I'm going to listen to Patty. Start at zero, $200 increments. Um, yeah. One site online. With no big case or anything, wants sixteen hundred for just a, a a one signature. This has two letters of authenticity. It has two of the seals on it. I'll show you when I say seals. Look at this. It's got uh, the authenticators number and seal this one over here he's a board court qualified certifier right there on the second one and you get all this started zero two hundred dollar increments the the shop before they went out of business they were trying to sell it for two grand nineteen hundred ninety five dollars uh, a lot of places, they're usually 1600 to 2000 whatever you want to pay me. Because I am making a mistake. You know, in a mere four minutes, Wilson, I'll be on Dish Network. And if they hurried, I could get, I could sell this before Dish. You got a bid on this? No. Oh my goodness. Tell you somebody wants a deal right now. Three minutes, two minutes. No, I got a minute till I'm on dish. Somebody calls in real fast, I'll sell it to you for eleven hundred dollars. And I am going to put the, what? We have open at 200. Oh boy. All right. We have 200 dollars. Folks, the shop wanted 1995. We are at $200. Looking for four. And I hope everybody, am I on dish now? I can probably, you know, 400. 400 has been bid. I gotta be on dish, right? Not you are right. Wilson, your clock is running fast. Can you use your mind to will your clock backwards? I am at $400 going once. Yeah. Am I on dish now? Camera two. 
Hello, Dish Network, Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California, home of Primetime Shopping Network Studio. It is a Wednesday night art and coin show, and I want to thank everybody who's watching me. I have some amazing gold coins coming up right now. Well, coming up, MS65s right here, Wilson. I'm going to get back to that. I apologize. We're in the middle of an auction. I'm at $400, but I got MS65 Blazing Saints. I got Magic Johnson signed jersey. I got a lot of cool stuff. So, actually, I am in the middle of this auction right here. This is Herbert Hoover. And we put it up to zero to open $200 increments. I got two and I got 400 The shop I bought this from had it in their shop for $1,995. You have two different certifiers certifying that that was Herbert Hoover's signature. And Herbert Hoover, they really went after him. I mean, when they decided they didn't like him, and he, once again, if you ever go to Las Vegas or any of the cities around, there was a Hoover Dam they get so much of the water to California, Vegas, and everywhere else. I can't. I, I mean, I paid so much more than four hundred dollars, but I'm at four hundred, looking for six. And this is an amazing display. I was telling uh, the internet-only audience, Herbert Hoover lived longer than most of the presidents. He attended John F. Kennedy's 1960 inauguration. All right, $400. Oh, I got a great show coming your way. Look at this. Here's a seller that, that just has a signature that has not been authenticated. They want $1,600. Look at that. They have two certified and stamped authenticators on this four hundred dollars going once oh that hurts four hundred dollars going twice fair and final warning All in, all said, that's not good. So, now, folks, take a look at these. These are blazers. I got a Zax. I got gold. I got a lot of cool stuff. But Wilson... I don't buy just average coins. This is graded PCGS. Don't get me wrong, I like NGC. They graded the Chapel Collection Approved Morgans, but when it comes to St. Gaudens, I think PCGS is unstoppable. I think they undergrade. Like this right here, this coin with all that luster should have been Worst case, MS65 plus or star should have been a 6.6. Six. Look at that. Now look at the reverse. Absent of bag marks. Look at that. This is a blazer. I also have 1924s. Look at this, Wilson. If I covered up the grade, people go, that's a 6.6 six or 6.6 six six plus or 6.7. Look at the field of vision on a 1924. Here I got a competitor. Yeah, let me show you a competitor right here. Give me a second. I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. Look at 
look at this right here. Here's a competitor selling a 1927.65 plus for $3,773. My 65. That's that's a nice coin, but you can see some bag marks. You don't see the pizzazz or the pop. Look at my 1927. Here is a competitor of mine selling a 6'4", a 1908 no motto in 6'4", and they want $3,495. I'm going to beat that price, and I'm going to give you a grade higher. So I hope you're out there tonight, because I got some really cool coins. And... Uh, I got one of the rarest coins. Ooh, don't trip, Chapel. Uh, this is a rare coin. Look at that, Wilson. 1913D. They only minted 395,000 of these coins. It's one of the rarest dates to get. BC 2358. Look at that. 1913 D. I'm going to move to this coin too because I only have one. I put this coin away a year ago. I offered all the coins to everybody. You bought them all, but one didn't sell. It's like I'm keeping it. The 1913 D. I uh, managed 393,500. Look at this. And this to show you, mine is MS64, but I just want to show you what somebody wrote here. The 1913D St. Gaudens is graded, this one happened to be graded MS64+. Plus. There was only 37 coins graded higher than an MS64+. Plus. Mine is a PCGS64, not an NGC64+. Plus. Oh. There you go. Don't knock them all down. I'm just joking. Here, let me give them a better look at it. There you go. Oh, oh, they're looking at the 20, 13D. Look at that. You know what you say when you see a coin like this? You know what you're supposed to, You know what the first thing you're supposed to say, Ashley? Sweetness. 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 Now, just look at that. Now, folks, I'll tell you what. On the 1913D, oh, I, I want to show you. Here is a comp where somebody was selling the 13D right over here. I only have one. This is an amazing coin. Let me pull out. They had they wanted seven thousand nine hundred, if I'm not mistaken. Give me one second. I have it right here. Nineteen thirteen D. All right, that goes back there. I know where it is. There's a, somebody else wants 6,950. Here's what I can do. Hmm. Only got one. Ashley, this coin, it keeps going up and up, but let me ask you, what did I have this up for? Come on out. Come on out. Here we go. Right here. Look at this. 13D. Uh, all positive remarks. Look at this, Ashley. They want $7,800 on eBay for their coin. Seventy-eight hundred. 
What's that? Even though they want seven, uh, I'm sorry, 7,800. You're killing me, Ashley. You're killing me. I'll tell you what, but I'm going to do it, Ashley. I only got one of these. That's so cheap I can't even say it. I'm going to slowly wander over there. All right, now you got to say it loud what I want for this coin because it's a graphy or a praxy. I can't say it. Say it out loud. How much do I want for this coin? $4,595. They want $7,800. Another site wants $8,400. And mine was hand picked. Yes. No, the price is $4,595. $4,595. I only have one. This coin has been plusing up and up and up. Oh, look at that. I hope you're out there. That is the price. I mean, I always negotiate, but on this, I haven't been able to find another one. The everybody wants 7,800 to 8,500 dealer price. And so at $4,595, give that a thought. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you what. Tell them this. They're in the ballpark. They got through the gate at the ballpark. They're not up to the plate yet, but they're getting close. What did they offer me? Mr. Mr. S, I just offered a price that is so cheap. I hope you say yes. Because that is swing, swing, swing. You're in the batter's box. I just threw, sold, a hanging curve. Have you ever thrown a hanging curve, Ashley? Yes. I know, it's the one that hit the eagle. Thank you, Mr. S. That coin's gone now. Hey, did you sell the other John Askew deal? I did. Okay, that was a, to have zero, 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 zero. All right, now, here's what I want to talk to you about. I have a grand total, because I picked them all myself. One... I have two 1927 in 65. Now I showed you a comp in 65 plus where they want like a billion dollars. And you know what got me mad about that, Patty? What? They spelled a gabillion wrong. If you're going to ask someone to pay you a gabillion dollars, but I want to talk to you about a more serious issue. Wilson, I'm going to sit down right here. I want to talk to you about this. Did you ever watch Star Trek, Wilson? You watch it, Ashley? Be me aboard, Scotty. I have come to the conclusion. I might be wrong. I might be right. I've come to the conclusion my sweet dog, Ginger, Wilson, my dog Ginger is a little kitten trapped in a hound dog's body. Something happened. Maybe UFOs flew over, they beamed up all these animals, then they beamed them back down, and sometime 
like Scotty beam him up, beat him down. Ginger got merged with a kitten. Because there's no other way of explaining it. My hound dog got... What? I, there's no other excuse. Why would a hound dog act like a cat? My dog, Ginger. This is what I keep trying to tell you. Have you ever met Ginger? Once you meet her, you'll see. My dog, Ginger, is not a dog. My dog, Ginger, is a kitten trapped in a hound dog's body. That's just my theory. And to back that up, I can tell you I've never taken a class in dog psychology, but I did spend at least one night in the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> All right. They don't believe me, Wilson. All right, you want to see something else? I had to show this. And they didn't believe me a long time ago when I when I showed this. What does this say right here, Wilson? Uh-huh. Y'all, everybody thought Fred Flintstone was just a fictional tale. What does that say there, Wilson? Paleontologist. Dinosaurs coexisted with humans' ancestors, paleontologists say. Hence, you know what that means, Patty? What? The Flintstones were real. Fred, Barney, Wilma, Bam Bam, Mr. Slate. They even drew a picture of what it could have looked like. I'm not a paleontologist, but that was their take on it, Wilson. That would explain a lot. You all ye of little faith. You're going to argue with paleontologists? All right. Take a look at these two 1927s. I pick coins that equal... Well, let me, let me do this. Here's a 1920, they want $3,800 for all practical purpose for an MS65 Plus NGC minor PCGS. But here is a grade lower, 1908, no motto in 6.4. It's a competitor of mine, RCTV. It's not a bad price for a 6-4 Saint, but mine are 6-5s and mine are beautiful. And here's what I can do. Ashley, what we say, uh, retail on this is uh, most people on a 6-5 of this caliber. It'd be, whew. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I'm going to walk over here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, th that's what. Patty. She's got a sword. I mean, she's got a, really, a spear. Hey, what does that say? All right, here's what I can do. On the, uh, are they talking the 1927s? Tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Ashley wants them up for 38 or 3700 Here's what I'm going to do right now. I only have two of them. 3300 First two collars, those are blazers. I would send those two in to get regraded. They are hand picked. They are MS65 plus in my professional. I am in my 33rd year right now, Wilson. 
33 under for my 33rd year, and those are PCGS MS 65s. I only have two of the 1927s that should have been 65 plus or 66. Look at that, Wilson. I want 3300 for a grade lower. And one of the most common dates, my competitors want 3495. I want 3300, and mine is a grade higher hand picked. And they are stunning. Look at it. And I even made Ashley say it. Yell it, Ashley, yell it. Patty, yell it. What are, what's, the, what's the vocabulary for a coin like this? Sweetness. I only have two of the 1927s. Do you have one, Ashley? All right, and I'll tell you what. Think about those two. Oh, you're right, Wilson. They're not going to see the pizzazz. That's pizzazz. Wilson, in your secondary job, you go yowza, yowza, yowza for a... Look at that. This is an MS-65 PCGS 1924. So does Gary have one of the 1927s? He's tuning in right now. Oh, Gary, Gary, Gary. We're close because my name is Barry, Barry, Barry. And I used to live next to a guy named Larry, Larry, Larry. And you dated Sherry, Sherry. <laughs> nah, I never dated Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. All right, I can't believe I'm going to move these out of the way for a second. Look at that. Wilson, that is as nice of an MS-65. I don't know, that is a grumpy grader. I don't have no idea. Look at that, free of any blemishes. That is the most undergraded MS65 1927. Look at that. Look at the luster. I only have these two. They're 3300 each. Look at that. Those are gem brilliant uncirculated. I am going to sit back for a second. Because I know Gary's going to want one. Has Jerry called? All right. I will make you a bet. I can sense it. Those are so incredible. Thirty-three hundred. All right. I am going to move them over for now. Wilson, I'm selling my rock. I got this in Vancouver at a rock show. That is sulfur quartz. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, Ashley? 
2639. All the pictures I send to post on Facebook, this has been sitting in my office for years. And I'm thinking, a lot of people haven't seen sulfur quartz. This came from the Yukon Territory. It is just absolutely gorgeous. That is a very nice cut of sulfur. A lot of times you'll see sulfur quartz and there'll be all kinds of other colors that are not attractive mixed in. And just to show you, Wilson, the permeability and porosity of this rock, look right there. That's what happens over hundreds of thousands of years. Look at that. Everything's got to be right. The ep epithermal conditions to get something like this. Ashley, what's my cost on this? I know there's people that want for a piece like this, there's a lot of people that want Oh, 25, 2,800, 3,000. But I'm not one of those people. Retail, probably 2,800. Start at zero. If you don't believe me, look at any picture on Facebook for the last year and a half. I always put the coin on this rock. Start at zero. What do you do? $200 increments? Yeah. Start at zero. $200 increments. And what was the measurements? They have the measurements. Let's see. Hang on. That's going to be seven and a half there. And you're saying so seven and a half by eh, two and a half is what Ashley's saying. But I am not going to argue with Ashley. I'm, not doing, I'm just watching you at work. I said zero to open $200 increments. That is a beautiful piece of sulfur. And what you'll notice, Wilson, is in these crystals, and I should be more gentle, but look, come in. Right there, close. There, no, right over here. Look at that. There are thousands of crystals. And it come up a little higher. There you go. We have 200. Folks, every picture, you know what coins look so good on this? I am at $200. Oh, this was big about a year and a half ago. There was a rock auction and piece is this perfect. Wilson, look at that. It looks like, you know where you have to usually go to get a piece of sulfur this nice? Yeah, I, Patty, do you know? You have to land, and this is tough, on Klingon. Yes. They have better sulfur rock on Vulcan but ever since Spock died, or did they bring him back to life? I don't know. $200 on a cut of sulfur? The backdrop to every coin I've used since, because people kept saying, that's a cool rock, bring it in, I bring it in. I give one bit of 200 going once. 
Oh, no. That is a cool rock, Wilson. There we go. $200. Who's your customer? Mr. H. Mr. H, you're living so well. $200 going twice. That's a $22, $2,500 sulfur piece. Because most chunks of sulfur you're going to come across, they got black in them, they got stained, they got a lot of, of uh, quartz mixed in to the sulfur. But to find a piece like that, $200 going once, $200 going twice. And Ashley, I thank Mr. H, but you need to charge him 1900 shipping. All in, all said, that was a deal sold. Tits, talk about an auction that went bad, Wilson. Look how good this coin looks on it. All right, now. Here's what I'm going to do. Boy, I'm coordinated. <laughs> if you can grab that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Right here. I was talking about this to the crew, talking to Matt about this. Look at this. Both of my kids are grown up now. and a blazer of a 1927. The 27s are so undergraded. I look through all my coins, look at these. These are Helvetia Swiss francs. Which one are they interested in? Oh. Folks, if I can make one word of advice as a parent, if you can give I got gold, I got French gold, Swiss gold, Mexican gold here. I got French rooster coins, but I wanna, I don't have as many. I've about sold out of Helvetia Swiss francs. Those are roosters. I'll put the French roosters below them. If you can get your son or daughter an AU to uncirculated gold coin, it will change them. Before you know it, they'll be checking the price of gold, and when it moves one way or another in a large amount, they'll start reading, why did that happen? And right here, folks, I want you to take a look at Helvetia Swiss francs. Is that all I got? Three? Hang on, let me. I want to show you something. Here is an ad right here on eBay. And this is a very competitive price. Look at that. 
530, $539.50. AU Swiss franc. This coin, the 20 francs, has 0.1869 of an ounce of gold, about a fifth of an ounce of gold. It is one of the most owned coins, save more lives, people, when they get gold. Matter of fact, here is a picture of what the emergency inside the emergency kit of a fighter pilot in Europe in World War II. You had three nine carat gold rings. You had a British sovereign, a French franc, I believe. British sovereign, Swiss franc, and I'm not sure what the other one was. If you had to bail out over Europe, they gave you this to trade for your freedom, to get back across enemy lines to the Allied side. Tell you what I can do on these. And that was a very respectable price. There's been a run on Helvetian Swiss francs. Here's what I can do. They have a best price online, they say $539. What is my item number on the Helvetia Swiss franc? Ashley? Yes, sir. What's my item number on the Swiss franc? Swiss francs are right over here. 2211. That's going to be right over here. Those are the French francs, Wilson. This side over there. I'll tell you what, that's a hard price to beat. $539, but I'll do it. How many do you show in the system that I have? How many, how many do I have? I can. I got more than this. I'll tell you what. Oh, this is too too cheap. What is it? Four hundred seventy nine dollars. Now, folks, I've made a mess of my suit and the <laughs> camera, whichever. Give one of these coins to your son or your daughter, your granddaughter, grandson. You'll see a change in them. I, 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 it's amazing when they start asking, uh, why do some countries back, back their currency by gold and others don't? What is fiat money? How come Nixon took us off of the gold standard? It just, and you'll notice once a week, once a month, and if it's moving every day, they'll be checking the gold price. Only have two left, $479. Helvetia, 20 franc. Now some Azulay's coming up. All right. It's a blazer. All right, let's make this happen right now, Ashley. I am going to gently move these French francs away from the Swiss francs. 
You notice, Wilson, sometimes the French francs and the Swiss francs don't play well together. A little bit of bad blood there, even though they border each other. Who, which one do they want? All right, folks. Ashley, Hi. I'm going to make these two 1927s go bye-bye right now. Get somebody online. You sold one of them? Who'd you sell it to? All right, Gary. That is a beautiful... Ashley, that is a beautiful 1927 right there. Don't look at that coin too long. You'll become mesmerized by gold, Ashley. Mesmerized. And then you'll be walking around your house mumbling at all hours. Need gold. Need gold. It's three in the morning, four in the morning. Where can I find gold? I need gold. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get dressed, go find Wilson walking the boulevard. All right, I only have one 1927 left. That is a blazer. Why that is not an MS65 Plus star, I don't know. That looks like I have had so many MS66 and 67, 1924s, 5s, uh, 27s, and 28s. This should have been a 6.6. Six. I mean, the points where it usually shows wear, very little. And Wilson, look at the fingers holding the torch that Miss Liberty is holding up or the fingers around the olive branch. Very little wear. Look at the eyes of Miss Liberty. Perfect. The peripheral free of bag marks. Only have one left at $3,300 right there. The 1924s. Look at this. 1924 is a more common year, but most 1924s in 6.5, they're okay. But I bought these because they're so superior. Look at this one, Wilson, in my hand. Look at this. I go in there thinking, all right, I'm going to get a 27, 28, 22, 23. But I came across it, I'm going, my gosh, that's a 6.6. Six. That could be a 6.6 six, six plus. And when I see it's only a 6.5, I'm going, what's going on? So I'm going to put that one right there. Look at this 1924 Wilson. So sexy. And I have one other. Nineteen twenty-four. Oh, you sold my thirteen D, right? Yes. Is that correct, Ashley? Yes, I did. So, folks, call me. The bid. On uh, St. God's, I'm just going to put them all up here. I'm going to move on to some art here. But uh, if you're looking 
for Gem Brilliant Uncirculated. These are dates I never have, like 1924. It, it, they, there were more coins struck, but they all have this dull, opaque look. And I just, in 6.5, I pass them. 6.6s, six I think about them. But these 6.5s are so stunning. I had to buy three 1924 MS65, Mint State 6.5. And I have one 1927 and 6.5 left too. Think about those. Here's a smaller Alphonse Mucha produced by Jack Salmon Jr in the Alphonse Mucha Society. This is BC 2631. Alphonse Mucha designed the currency for Czechoslovakia. Alphonse Mucha is considered one of the greatest artists of all time. I actually believe Mucha is one of the founding members of, I would even, ugh, our deco, I mean, he, he changed the way we think about art. This is what the master looked like. That's Alphonse Mucha. His art defined the Czech Republic. Matter of fact, if you ever go to the Czech Republic. You'll see that his old currency was designed by Alphonse Mucha. You'll see that some of the pieces that Alphonse Mucha did, well, here's some right here, done by Jack Salmon Jr. Here's Rue Royale selling one piece, a bigger piece. Slava. They wanted 4,200. This is a smaller piece. Um, what I like about this piece. Do you see where mucha is raised off the white paper? The mucha anti-counterfeit device designed by Jack Solomon Jr. Here's a fat berry with artist Yaka Vagam in yellow, Jack Solomon Jr. in blue. This was before he died. It's probably 2002 or three. Uh, amazing guy. Look at that. On cruise ships, I don't know what they sell these for. It, it's matted. I think the retail on a MUCA like this with the anti-counterfeiting watermark is probably $1,212 to $1,300 list price. Ashley, do you think I have viewers left or I killed them? Patty, did I kill them? Did I beat on them? No, they're here. Matt, how many people are watching me online? And if it's negative, you can tell me. I'm a grown man. I can take it. Okay. Yeah, you got you got a piece that's twelve hundred bucks, nine to twelve hundred bucks. It is Mucha sealed. In other words, the Mucha anti-counterfeiting watermark is on it. Start an auction. Where would you start, Ashley? Hundred dollar increments. 
All you got to do is put a frame on it. It is matted and it's got plexi on top. It's a baby mooka. Is your doggy asleep? <laughs> Juliet's doggy really took to me. You know why, Wilson? Dog knows I'm an easy mark. Dog knows. Folks, I got a $1,200 Alphonse Mooka here with the raised Mooka anti-counterfeiting mark. It's not that big of a Mooka, but it is a Mooka. Done by the Mooka Foundation and Jack Salmon Jr. Open. We have 100. Thank you. At a hundred? They're going for me tonight, Wilson. Uh, fair game, they go. He made it to 30. He's in his 33rd year. 32 in the books, 33. We must finish him. $100 on a $1,200 on a $1,200. Alphonse Mooka lithograph done by Jack Solomon Jr. Uh, S2 galleries going once. $100 going twice. Say it ain't so. It'd be great if my name was Joe. There you go. It ain't so, Joe. Joe is? Oh. $100 going once. $100 going twice. Fair. See, we, we run an, uh, a very honest auction house here. That's a tragedy, but hey, when it goes that cheap, it goes that cheap. All in, all said. Sold. That went cheap. That went cheap. Okay. Now. Was that Chopper? He got a deal. I appreciate Chopper. Look at this. This is Beckett Certificate. This is a Magic Johnson jersey. And I don't have them with me, but I used to have pictures of Magic Johnson signing them. Beckett Cert. It's a big jersey. Ashley, what's my cost? On a Beckett sealed and signed Magic Johnson jersey. I mean, these retail for 2900 Have you ever met Magic Johnson? I haven't either. No. I met uh, Mars Bargain Barry. Oh, very famous basketball player. I'm trying to think what his name is now. Tell you what. James Worthy. I met James Worthy. They got $2,400... Uh, Beckett price on this. You see the Beckett stickers. Beckett certified. They, they, they watch Magic Johnson sign this. 2400 Tell you what, Ashley.
Because here's what I'm going to do. Give someone a deal because I, I've slowed the show down. Now, here in America, people know 32 or Magic Johnson, right, Wilson? But everything's upside down in China. So they're going, why do I want to buy number 23? You got to think these things through. Uh, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do $700 to open. $100 increments once I get the open. That's too cheap. That's Magic Johnson. I'd say there's a lot of reasons to respect people and not respect, respect people, but Magic Johnson, when he found out he had HIV, he called a press conference and explained it. And that probably helps stop the spread more than anything. And one of the favorite musicians I ever liked was Fred Freddie Mercury. But he didn't do that, you know. And so anyway, I'm not saying I, I don't know what anybody's supposed to do, but Magic will always be remembered for doing that. No bid? Oh my gosh. I'm going to take this down. I got some Azure. Oh, let me explain this. This next one. Oh, that's heavy. And I don't mean heavy in concept, Wilson. I mean heavy in weight. What does that say down there, Wilson? It says Banksy. Girl with balloon. Artist proof. The Banksy. Now, this Banksy was made out of an addition. I'm going to let Ashley make sure I get this right. This is an addition of 600. And how many artist proofs were there? Ashley? How many artist proofs? 600? No, 600 in the edition. And there were, of the artist proofs, there was 20. This is AP number s s 7 of 20. Now, if this was a 2004 Banksy edition, you're talking about 179 thousand dollars this was an addition done by Banksy when was it done 2021. 2021 and he did 600 of them and of the 600 there were 20 artist proofs these are not signed by Banksy what they're done is stamped by Banksy and when these came out, they've gone up, I believe. But when these came out, what was the retail on these when they came out? It's in that letter. You were reading it to me. Two grand. But then it, it kind of sold out so fast. I believe it's now around 3800 And 
You got the Banksy stamped girl with a balloon. Do you want a Banksy, a Banksy stamped but numbered girl with a balloon? I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime. List price nowadays is about 4500 because I don't think you can find one. And this sold out in like a day. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, this is too cheap. 1700 to open. $100 increments after we get the open. That's a beautiful piece. Yes, I have Azule. Actually, I don't. Wilson's got him locked in the closet there. You're not mistreating him, are you, Wilson? Did, were you tempted to mistreat him? I don't know. I'm just curious. Wilson is a very nice man, but he he uh, he's, he's so honest. He tells us about... In younger days, his acid trips, was it acid? Now, when, yeah, and you were very honest about all that, and I thank you. Now, when you were detoxing from the heroin, was that harder than the acid, or was the, the heroin was the hardest? And did you go to, like, uh, heroindetox.com or did you do it on yourself? <clears throat> Nobody wants to open on this? I'll tell you what, 1500 That's bottom. This is a 2021 Banksy edition of 600 Girl with, ba uh, Girl with Balloon stamped by Banksy on hand numbered and then stamped by Banksy on the back. All right. I am going to move this way. Ashley, can you bring up my Ashley? La Grande Circus. This is Guillaume Ashley. This was done in 2023. It's a 101, basically an original. Guillaume Ashley, La Grande Circus. The story of life. Life is a circus. You are the master of the circus. You are the conductor. He hand laid gold there. He hand watercolored places. He did an etching in Siena. Then he hand watercolored it. And there is one of one. Virtually an original. BC 2633. In the 1980s, he came out, or 79, with La Grande Circus. I believe it got accepted into the Bibliothèque Nationale, the archival collection of the Louvre. And 2023, he came out with a few one-of-ones. Each one is different, and this is one of them. This is going to be, I think it was in Print World Guide or going.
Retail, which I, I'm trying to figure out, Wilson, if you can show them, get, come in so close in these lines, because I can believe it's going to be in Print World Guide at $6,500 because it's an etching. And then a man, the youngest living artist to ever be accepted in the permanent archival collection of the Louvre, Guillaume Agelet. His paintings, uh, nine of his works were accepted into the Bibliothèque Nationale. Yeah, list price 6500 Hey, is that Guillermo working tonight? Yes. Did I say his name right? Oh, Guillermo, they brought him back. I was worried about it. Yeah, so this is going to be in the 2023 Print World Guide at 6500 That's an original. That's a one of one. And come in on any area you want, but come in real close. Look at that, the acrobats. He had to etch that in a copper plate, every single line. He was born in Casablanca, Morocco. He's in the Ronald Reagan Presidential Museum for a piece called Encounters that Ronald Reagan bought and loved was a horse piece. Tell you what I can do on this. This is rare. Hand water colored by the man himself. Youngest living artist to ever be accepted into the Louvre. Tell you what I can do. Here's what I'm going to do. It's too cheap. Oh, this is too cheap. I want to see if they're watching because my, my price should be 1200 to open and that would be a deal of a lifetime on a piece that's going to go in at 6500 at 1100 I've lost my marbles at a thousand I'm just too dumb to stop counting backwards Wilson 900 there's no excuse $800 to open $100 increments once we get the open that's a one of one, the only one done in 2023, hand watercolored etching done by Guillaume Agelet. He is collected by no, the late Nelson Rock, Rockefeller, Ronald Reagan, the Baron Robert the Rothschild, that is so vivid. How many lines do you think you had to make into that barbarian? To that copper plate? No open once on this. Okay. Hand me another, oh, look at that. Look at the little gold leaf he puts. He's an artist, artist. Hand me. Let's see that, what? Say it again. You do and you clean it up, Ashley. I mean, I got to live after this show. She wants to la vu la bay on the floor. What did she say there, Wilson? You speak French. What's the name of this? La vu this. Yada, yada. Can you pronounce this, Wilson? You can speak a little French. La vu. They grew. And they kept, they grew and grew and they got bigger and bigger. No, I don't know what I, look, 
this comes with a remark. This is number the flight, of cranes. the flight of cranes. I have two of these. They're going to have a different remark. They're the same except for the remark. And what does a remark on the other one look like? This is a one on one. Oh. Put that down there. Yeah, one it's drinking water actually. The other one is a proud horse. This one is La Gruen with water. What does La Gruen mean, Wilson? <laughs> so I have two with different remarks. Here's what I'm going to do. And this is done in 2023, I believe, 2022 or 23. Stay. Um, means the great berry, the great what? mean the great the green could it mean the crane because it looks like horses with cranes the crew is not a crane it's not green it's not green the crane all right. Tell you what, folks, I'm going to give you a deal of a lifetime. These uh, one of ones are going in print world guide, I have been told, at $5,700. They are gold leaf silkscreen, hand laid gold by Guillaume Agelet. And the edition size is so small. He did a few one of ones. Uh, I think the original edition sold out, and he said, you know what, I'm going to do some one-of-ones on these. Hand laid the gold leaf. $5,700 is a list price, and here's what I'm going to do. Pick which remark you want, because those are original drawings by Guillaume Agelet. Nine pieces in the Bibliothèque Nationale. I'm going to do, folks, first two collars. $629. They're huge. They're hand laid gold leaf serographs with an original drawing done by Guillaume Ashley. So whoever calls first, give them the choice of which remark they want. Today is Wednesday. What's that? How profound. Did you hear what Ashley just said? I said today is Wednesday. And sure, she opined all day long. <laughs> Folks, what are you doing? These are amazing. All right, I'm going to come over here. These two are going to go bye-bye right now. Here's what I'm going to do.
dia. Because I only have these two. They're one of one. First two colors, and this is giving stuff away, $595. And when you buy one of the Schofields, I'm giving you a free watercolor. When you buy one of the Azulays, you're getting a free watercolor from Michael Schofield. And this is going to last all of a minute. These are going in Print World Guide for six and seven thousand. You're getting one of one, virtually an original Azule with a remark. You're getting all of this, and I lowered it and lowered it and lowered it. So, somebody say yes. Yes. Well, since she's stealing your line, did you hear that? <laughs> Ash Ashley just said, say yes to the dress. I can't do this. A free Schofield watercolor and an Azure with a remark. 5700 in Print World Guide. And you get them all for, what did I put that price at? Five ninety-five. I'm going to give this about a minute, and I uh, I made a mistake. Or in TV hosting uh, terminology, I made a boo boo. A boo boo. Because I should not have gone that low. So I'm going to honor this price for about a minute. I got a Zach's. I have. Uh, oh, I know what I'm going to go to. I know how to sell those 1924s. That's too cheap. All right. Ashley, let's move these along. Let's move these over. That would have been a deal of a lifetime. Watch the Schofields because I'm virtually out of them now. You want me to take them both? Yeah, but I want to be careful with that. And I'm going to hand it good. All right. Who was the one guy that kept asking us about these two? Carl. Kurt. Kurt. I didn't forget about you, buddy. This is for Kurt. These are Disney hand uh, the etching and hand painted Disney. And who was the artist on this? Say it again. Noah and Lisa. Noah. Zoa. Zoa and Annette. <laughs> what is it? Zoa. 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 Sua uh, and Reisner. Reiser, I'm joking. So and Reisner. And uh, what did I pay for these? Because I want to give Kurt. Kurt, if you're watching, I'm going to call. I got a price for both.
me an offer because you've been asking about these and they'll be yours. Just say yeah, take yes for an answer. Uh, Ashley, what was Kurt's offer on the last show? What did he email me? Kurt, if you're watching, I'm going to make you a deal. If not, I'll sell them both to you for anybody for $250 for both. Those are etchings that were hand colored. Now, here's, here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to. What's that? Well, I got it. I got them up here for 250 for both. Let's see if you get any calls on this. Call them. And or if anybody yells, I'll take them first. They're going to go there. Now, here's what I'm going to do, folks. Here's what I'm going to do. I got a Zach's Corvette, but I'm not even going to worry about this. Here's what I want to do. Wilson, I want to focus in on these three 1924 Gem Brilliant MS65 PCGS graded $20 St. Gaudens. That was real money, Wilson. You could take that to any bank. If you had a $20 note, you could say, hey, I'd like $20 in gold. They'd give you the $20 St. Gaudens. And folks, these are blazers. And just so you know, this one is just as nice. Ooh, it's even nicer. I just want to get it there. What is the item? Yeah, there they are. A competitor, a few channels over, this 1924 and MS65. I got, I got their comp right here. They want $3,750. And they put all kinds of stickers on them. They make these stickers up. Have you seen those stickers? Yeah. Yeah, we think this is a great coin, so I'm putting my own sticker on it. Well, I don't have stickers. They want a lot. They want 3750 but they'll put a sticker on it, Wilson. I don't have any stickers. Here's what I'm going to do. I got an idea. If you want one, two, or three, it's going to be less than four. It's going to be less than, this is each. It's going to be less than 3,900, less than 38, less than 37, less than 36. I only have these three. They are gem brilliant, uncirculated, handpicked by me. I hardly ever buy 1924s. It's a great year, but I saw these three out of many coins. There's just a coin show in town. I said, no, no. I mean, I'm going to buy some 1924 because something happened the day these three got graded. Maybe the tag fell off. Maybe they, they, these were supposed to be MS66 and somebody made a mistake or 66 plus, especially on the two end coins. Call me. I'm going to make you a deal. You're going to go, Barry, that's a deal. And I firmly believe 
you folks are getting ready to see what gold was made for. There's a lot of stuff going on in the news. Ain't good. And gold is um, something everybody needs and wants. I got a price. You got to call me. Whether you want one, two, and actually if somebody wants all three of my 1924s, I will turn on my calculator. I will sharpen my pencil. I will work a deal if they want all three. Call me. I have some pesos, some 10 peso Mexican coins. I do have one 1927 left right here. Look at that coin, Wilson. Now, when you see a coin like this, what do you say, Ashley? Sexy, 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 sexy yeah. I'm going to go yowza, yowza, yowza. I mean, a coin that sexy, the children should leave the room. That's a 1927. This coin was struck 96 years ago and has remained in gem brilliant like the day it came off the press. It's like it never went in anybody's pocket. Maybe it was gangster gold that got sent to Europe and put in Swiss bank vaults. Maybe somebody was standing at the end of the coining process and caught this in a velvet pillow just like the one you carry around with you Wilson that's a 1927 and MS65 call me call Barry and if you want I have A Diaz peso here. Oh, you had to go and do that. Peso on national TV. Call me. Ashley has some two peso coins. If they're interested in any of my St. Gaudens, call me. I believe the days to buy these is momentary. A big move is coming. I can feel it. And yes, I will sell the Banksy. I will sell the Azulays. Make me some offers. On the gold, I'm pretty firm, but the Magic Johnson, call me. All right, I hate to have to do this, Wilson. It's not fair. Can you bring your camera over to me? All right, Ashley. Oh, well, are you ready for this, Ashley? All right, you eight, hey, Patty, get ready. I got a cresk in this. I am sending a signal through the camera. I know the right person is going to pick up this signal because I got a price on all three. I got a price on uh, the 27. Some are set, but I got some gold coins. I'm going to make these one, two, three, four, six, fives go away right now. This takes a lot of energy, uh, Patty and Ashley. Don't try this alone. Pa Ashley, you could hurt your boyfriend. You could blow something up. You got to, you got to really. All right.
I just sent the signal out. Whew. That was a powerful signal, Patty. Now I just don't want anybody to hurt themselves, Wilson, because here's what's going to happen, Wilson. They're going to be sitting in front of the TV, and all of a sudden they were watching, and it's going to go. And that is their signal to call Ashley, Patty, or Juliet. Call us right now. I got deals. I even have a Zach's Corvette right here. EM Zach's. I got the Grand Circus. I got a Banksy. They felt it. They felt it. Who do you have online? Mr. M. Mr. M. I'm walking over there. Barely have the energy to do it, Wilson. I'm staggering. I mean, I'm just staggering after that. Woo! That was a shot, Mr. M. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't cause you any gray hair with a shot like that. Which coins is he interested in? Mr. M doesn't have any names. Oh. Whew. I'm not going to have any if I keep doing shots like that, not shots of liquor. I mean, that was a... got three 1924s in gem brilliant ms65 and i got a 1927 did they feel it too patty no i haven't had much i've cut way back you know we were talking about that today when I told one of Katie's friends, I don't know her well enough to show her the gumball. You know I'm in Ripley's Believe or Not for the world's largest chewed medicated gumball. Who do you have, Patty? I thought that would have just done it. Well, okay, sir. All right. Do you see it? You pull it up. You see how many pieces of gum? That is in the Ripley's, believe it or not. If you keep watching, there's a video when he came in on my show. You scroll down. There you go. That's the vice president of Ripley's Believe It or Not. That's my old shopping network. What's that? No, but look at look at that. That's Barry Chapel. Oh. All right. Nobody? I'll tell you what I'll do. All right, this is... There is dumb, and there is dumb and dumber, and I'm fixing to be both of them. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Yes. I gotta sell a few more things. All right. Retail's about forty five hundred. This is Banksy. Numbered edition from 2021. There were 600 done. There were 20 artist proof. I have one of the artist proof. It's about $4,500. I'll tell you what, that is a Banksy with the Banksy stamp and the Banksy numbering. 
Ashley is so cheap. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I paid, and Ashley will tell you, I paid a lot more than this. Hard luck night, hard luck number, 1300 to open. Ashley's going, you're losing money. I know I'm losing money. But I want to lose money. Yes. Yes, I do. I could feel it. I'm wobbly, Patty. Thanks, Patty. Well, that wasn't anybody's fault. I'm coming to see you here in a second. Now, let me come over here while we, because that's a heck of a Banksy right there. Here's what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to make a combo deal. Let's see. Take a look at the little girl going, I want my balloon. Wilson, why did you let my balloon go? You're full grown. I'm a little kid. I can't get it. What do you want me to do? Jump in front of a car? Wilson, why would you do that to that little girl? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, all right. open on the Banksy thank you we have the open on the Banksy and the person that opened on the Banksy Wilson wants to know why you won't help that little girl with the balloon you don't do mean things like that when you're not on TV do you you don't like go up to little girls and pull their balloons loose and go try and catch it now good because I wouldn't let you work here if you did that not that I have any say um, and we're going to work a deal on that. We have the open. We have 1300 on the Banksy. And who's got the open on the Banksy? Um, Miss C. Miss C? Miss C, when you get the Banksy, see what you can do to get the balloon back to the little girl. You wouldn't do anything mean like that, would you, Juliet? You wouldn't happen to be walking down the street thinking of Romeo? and go, boy, that was bad. I'm going to make this little ghoul lose, loser balloon. No. <laughs> Patty, you're the only voice of sanity here. 1,300 going once. 1,300 going twice. Fair and final warning. Sold for 1,300. Thank you. You bought that better than I did. And you got a great Banksy. Sorry, little girl. Don't listen to Wilson. No. All right. And yeah, now we got somebody talking about a 24 and a 27. Let's see what we can do here. What does he say? And Ashley, what is my cost on this huge, tough mutter Schofield? This is the only abstract. I did this in 09. What's my cost on it? BC2613, and it can go like this. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is a large abstract Schofield, he believes, and you can hang it any way you want. He signed it on the back, and... I'll tell you what, he's getting so much money for these. He sold three of his larger ones for a triptych for 180,000, 60 grand each. Tell you what, on this, 
He loves abstract. He believes when he dies, it's going to be worth as much or more than his landscape where he's already in so many museums, considered to be one of America's greatest landscape painters. Uh, I'll tell you what I can do on this. Oh, this is too cheap, but we got to get the shipping right. This is heavy. I'll tell you what, Ashley. All right, I'm turning my mic off. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll open this up at $1,100. And Ashley's already shaking her head going, you know, we're losing money. And... But they're going to be, I, 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 my guess is you're going to see them going radically up. That's just my guess. If they get me close, Patty, I can make something happen. they got to get me close. That's a nice offer. I thank them. But, but those are Gem Brilliant MS65s, undergraded coins, if you ask me. What, uh, what? can't do it. I wish I could. I wish I could. But I have other gold there. Thank you anyway. All right, who wants to open at this? I'll tell you what, this is one of it. Michael talked about this, talked about this. He's had this in his house, painted in 09. A thousand dollars to open. That's bottom. I mean, my guy paid more, Ashley. And I want to thank everybody. And if you don't buy it, I can live with it, but Michael, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's get him registered. And that's Mr. Yeah. Mr. S, give us a call because I'm down to 14 minutes. I'm working on some big art deals for next week. Wilson, I gotta dye my hair. I'm, I just every time I see that gray-haired guy, I go, I know I'm old, but I look in the monitor. I go, who is that? Have you ever been shot with a stun gun? Did it hurt? Would you ever do it again? Hey, any of you guys know how to moon dance, moon walk? I don't either. All right, I want to learn. What's that Schofield is gone. I don't know. How, do you know how to moon walk, Wilson? I was going to spend a weekend and learn how to do it. Do you know how to moonwalk?
No, but you know, like the, no, I'm going to learn over the weekend. By next Wednesday, I'm going to do it. It's going to be ugly, but it's going to be like me skiing. I'll learn too. Okay, you learn how to moonwalk. That is sold. Thank you. For the weekend on my birthday, I'm going to learn how to moonwalk. Oh, yes, this weekend is Ashley's birthday. 29. And you don't look it. I got it. Let's get rid of this Magic Johnson. Look at that. Two sticks, three Beckett, Beckett witnessed on five May 22nd, 23, in Dana Point, California. Signer's name, Magic Johnson. Item jersey, certificate number WS6323. And I thank all of you. All right. You would. Um. Hey, I'll tell you what. Oh, this hurts. Seven hundred dollars to open, and one hundred dollar increments. It is, you know, just to free float the mat. I mean, to do one of these jerseys to get it right. The framing. I'm talking about. Wilson here's MS65 plus NGC. I like PCGS when it comes to the 1927s, 25s, and such. And they want 3700 I got an MS65. It just doesn't have the plus. It should have. But mine are PCGS. That's NGC. I like NGC. They're a good company. What's that? We got the open? Thank you. $700 has been bid. I mean, could it be that hard to moonwalk like Michael Jackson? What you do is you push one foot back. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I got a weekend. I got no plans. $700 going once because I'm down to 10 minutes. $700 going twice. Fair. And final warning. That's a steal. All in. All. S Hang on. I haven't said the S word yet. I'm at, I'm at 700 looking for 800. I'm at seven looking for eight. Seven hundred going once. Seven hundred going twice. All in, all said. Sold to you, Ashley. That's gone. Magic Johnson is gone. Okay. 
That's a tough mutter. That's a joke because. Okay, that stays there. Now, here's what I am going to do. Here's what I am going to do. I am going to take the nicest 19. They're all stunning. I've been doing this for third. I'm in my 33rd year. 32 in the books. Boy, these were stunning 1924s. I, without a doubt, that right there is the nicest of the nicest of the 1924s. I know Mr. M was thinking about it, Mr. S. This is 1924 MS65. Why that is not a 66, I don't know. This is the type of stuff used to get me in trouble with the old PCGS owner. Now he doesn't own it. Uh, the old master grader used to stand in line at Long Beach and show him coins I thought were undergraded. And sometimes they'd grade them higher. This one is the easiest miss I've come across in a year and a half. This should be a 6.5 plus or a 6.6. Look at the reverse. Look at the color of this coin. Look at the absence of bag marks. I had this up for $3,300. If you're just going to buy one, those other two are very nice. But this is the most exceptional 1924 I have seen in many, many years. So, Ashley, if Mr. M or S wants this, here it is. I want to, I got seven minutes left. I got a Zax Corvette here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I like Juanita. That is a lucky dog. Folks, look at this. La Grande Circus. One of one, done in 2023. Hand etching. First he etched it in copper plate. Then he hand watercolored. It's going in Print World Guide for 6500 And it is a one of one, virtually an original. Look at the gold leaf he laid on the conductor. This is called Le Grand Circus, because Agile is saying, life is a big circus and you are the conductor of your own circus. The acrobats and everything else, it's, 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 uh, it's a one of one, which means for all practical purposes, it's an original. And what I'm going to do with this, Ashley, is I am just going to, because I'm running out of time, tell you what, I know we had this up for 1200 Watch this. Folks, this hurts big time. 650 to open. Oh, that is nothing. 650. And actually, I picked out the nicest 1924 I have. It's on the uh, the table right now. And I want to thank everybody. What's that? Five minutes? Wilson, you're a smart guy. You've been a lot of places. What do you think a good dog psychologist for Ginger? who I believe feels she is a kitty cat trapped in a coon hound dog body. Yeah, it was the aliens, an alien abduction. What do you think they would charge me to uh, get her happy being a hound dog and not a kitty cat? Oh, you got such a nice dog there.
I can't believe I lowered this down. Le Grand Circus, one of one, $6,500. That was hand watercolored by Guillaume Ajoulet, youngest living artist to ever be accepted in the Bibliothèque Nationale, the archival collection of the Louvre, collected by the Baron Robert de Rothschild, collected by Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin, Collected by Yitzhak Novin of Israel, Anwar Sadat of Egypt. And do you have a, you're getting an original basically, a one of one, and that is too cheap at 650 to open. I got three and a half minutes left, and I hear the call. You know, if I'm not careful, Wilson. I could get in trouble doing those mental mindsets for the coins. I could knock power stations out. What's that? Do they want to open on this? On this? Can you come up 50 bucks and I can make it happen? And I'll make it happen, and that is a heck of a deal. That's Le Grand Circus. Yeah. I want to thank everybody. I have about 120 seconds left. Did you just say 999? Give us a call. Boy, I'm getting fat, Wilson. Two minutes. Peace to you. No, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, you got it on your phone. Yeah. Oh. Who's got Who's got the 750? So you got the bid, Patty? No, we made a mistake. So who do you have on that, Ashley? Whoever was at 650, call him back. Whatever. Let's make it go bye-bye. And I got one minute. I want to thank everybody. And uh, I want to thank you. Yes, folks, very Chapel here in Wilson. I don't want to put out any power stations. I mean, that was a jolt I gave somebody. I mean, that, uh, yeah, I mean, when you take that much energy, Juliet, and ving it through the TV, Wilson, tell her what can happen. Done. Thank you. I have about a minute left. Next week, I'm working on some really cool art and some cool coins. And I want to thank all of you. But most of all, Buford, don't kick that dog. Buford, I've had it with you. Wilson's had it with you. Hey, I love you. We ship fast. Ashley takes care of the coins. Bye. See you next week.